For more than 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter in our community. From our studios in St. Clair, you're watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Welcome to another edition of the Focus program. My name is Paul Dingaman. We're glad you are along. We've got some really fun, important information for you on today's show. Uh, three very interesting segments with some very important people. And beginning is the uh, director, executive director of the, uh, can, uh, my words aren't going together today. United Way. United Way of St. Clair County, the executive director, uh, Doug Pleasure. Dahl. Nice to meet you. Welcome yeah. to the Focus Set. Well, glad to be here. Long overdue for you guys to come down here and we're uh, glad that you are here, sir. Um, you've just had a successful uh, 2016. Let's review that. Yes, yeah, so we just finished up our campaign. Uh, Tuesday night was our uh, big dinner celebration, and uh, we had about 120 people there to to celebrate uh, raising uh, 1.218. Wow, million. nice number. Yes, uh, we were a little pretty high, happy. little low. It's a little under budget. Uh, what we were trying to get, but we always give a stretch goal to try to reach out there. And uh, we were in a presidential year, which is a little more difficult because yes. a lot of money goes into campaigns. As That's you know. correct. Uh, and we had a couple other uh, bumps in the road with uh, national corporations making decisions locally that affected us that we didn't, weren't aware of. But other than that, I think overall... I was reading some of your press release stuff that said uh, it, they were going online so that you don't have an opportunity to go out and talk to the people. Yeah, I there, suppose that does affect it. It has affected us quite a bit when uh, you know, the government's done that and uh, now local companies are doing that. Making they, they feel it's more efficient operation for them, but without us getting in front of people and telling them what we do and why we're doing it and what their dollars really do in our community, and they can just do it online, that's not much easier not to do it than to, to know what we're doing each year, which how, are different. How many uh, agencies do you serve now? We have 23 agencies, wow. provide 43 programs wow. throughout St. Clair County. That's marvelous. We uh, impacted over 12,000 people last year uh, in helping them. And uh, from kids getting books from uh, zero to five, uh, we work with the Imagination Library Program, um, which is through RISA, uh, up until adults that are uh, going to the hospice home. Uh, one of the things I've heard about over the years that people just don't realize you have is crutches, and wheelchairs, and yeah. tell me about that. We have a loan. Medical, medical loan closet right wow. there at the United Way office, and that's free for any resident of uh, St. Clair County. doesn't matter what your income is. Uh, we have crutches, we have wheelchairs, we have diapers. We have, uh, for people that have uh, passed away, uh, they'll bring in cases of insure, things of those oh nature. Oh, my God. Uh, so we work with a visiting nurse and uh, people like that for people that can't afford these things, and uh, they come in and you can take them. You're here today to talk to us about a new program, which is called uh, 211. What's that all about? 211 is a program that is nationally. It's uh, started by the United Ways. About 95% of the country now is 211. 100% of Michigan is now 211. Uh, it's a service that uh, for people that want help. If you need help, don't know what to do, call 211. You give them your zip code. Tell them what you're looking for, whether it be food, clothing, okay, uh, so rent. It's, it's not police and fire. No. no. It's non-emergency. Non-emergency for services. Okay. So if you're looking for any type of services, you know, all you have to do is dial 211, tell them where you're at. They'll give you the closest proximity of where to go, what you're looking for. Uh, and you can do that anywhere in the United States. So if you're traveling and you need services, whether it be... Uh, uh, clothing, food, or things of that nature, uh, you get stuck, you can call 211, tell them where you're at, and uh, they'll get you hooked up. But it's not necessarily like a travel no. thing, where's there a good restaurant in town? No, or? no, no, it's nothing like that. No, this is for services. Uh, you know, like I say, uh, food and meals, health care, if you need some health care help, uh, if you need uh, housing utilities, which is one of the number one uh, things that people come for. Uh, is usually utility help, where they're getting shut off, uh, they're out of money, they just lost their job, um, and they don't know where to turn. There's money out there for utilities, whether it be through the United Way, but there's the Thaw program here in town. Yep. There are several places, and it's hard to remember what number, who am I supposed to call? Uh, so it's much easier just to remember three numbers. Yeah. Dial 211. Yeah, absolutely. We'll get you hooked up uh, very fast and easy. We have, uh, we're part of what is called uh, 201 Northeast Michigan, our call center. It's actually in Midland, Michigan. 
Uh, but part of our St. Clair County, we do have a person on site in, the, in our building that is a two-on-one specialist. So we have a local person taking calls uh, for our county, though our call could go anywhere because they're trained professionals taking your call. And uh, so if the volume gets too big, it gets offloaded to other call centers. But once you put your uh, zip code mm -hmm. in there, they, the, the screens come up for St. Clair County. Mm -hmm. So they're looking at and telling you exactly where you need to go, whether you're, the call's going into Midland, our gal in uh, St. Clair County, or somebody from Grand Rapids or Kalamazoo could be taking your call, but uh, you're getting covered for St. Clair County. And it's 24-7? 24-7, absolutely. Wow, wow. Um, it's been a while uh, since we've had anybody from uh, United Way here. What, what's on the uh, uh, offering for the spring? Well, fall. we're uh, going through that process right now. Our uh, agencies have uh, submitted their proposals for what they are, they're looking for. Uh, our Citizens Review Committee is reviewing those proposals. Now that we've finished our campaign and know the number, uh, we can go back to the mm -hmm. Citizens Review mm -hmm. Committee. In fact, we're meeting uh, in a couple weeks to come up with uh, what we can give to the uh, agencies and decide what are the important things and what we need to fund. Um, there's not really any real new programs that I saw that are coming through. They're pretty much the same consistent programs, but uh, they're all very important programs. Uh, if people, besides writing a check, uh, can people volunteer for, for helping you? Absolutely. We're a volunteer-run organization. Our board is fully volunteer. Our campaign cabinet, which was over 40 people, are all volunteers. Uh, our citizens review committee is all volunteers. Uh, people that give to you and I are making the decisions on where the money goes, and it all stays local mm -hmm. in St. Clair County. So, yeah, we're always looking for people to help in any way, shape, or form. Uh, some people help us at the front desk, greeting people at the office. Uh, some come on our Citizens Review Committee to review how we give away the money, where the money goes, and deciding what's important and what's not. And then reviewing that uh, through the year. That, that committee meets every month to monitor uh, reporting back from the agencies on how they're using the money that they've been allotted and how they're performing uh, against their target and their goals. Uh, also on the campaign team, we're always looking for people to help us go out and make a few phone calls to help uh, raise some money uh, to help us meet our, meet our goals and help the community. It's uh, uwstclair.org, uwstclair.org, and I imagine all the telephone numbers are there. And Everything's right there. You can go to this site. Uh, you can click on our financials. You can look at our 990, our financial statements. Uh, our video for each year is right there on the front page. You can click on that. Uh, it's about a six-minute video. Yeah, we ran it here for it, and, last fall. And it, uh, it gives you some information there on some of the services and some of the people we helped over the last year. And, uh, and all the other information is right there for people. 211, that's the, the reason you're here today. It's it's brand new, right? Yes, it is. And yes. it's up and running? Yeah, we got approved from the uh, Michigan Public Service Commission on December 20th. Uh, They've got to have to get involved with them, huh? Yeah, you can't get hooked up to anything like that without their approval. Wow. Uh, we've been working on this for two years. So they just finally went so through. So you got hooked up with them, and, and now you can provide the service. Absolutely, yep. Have we missed anything? No, I think uh, it's a great service. I think people are, uh, if you need help, please dial 211, let people know it's there, uh, whether it's veteran services. Anywhere in any, the county. Anywhere in the county. Dial 211. Super. Doug, we'll have you back. Okay, I'll Understand be glad. you're a really active uh, Rotarian. Yes, I am. That's yeah. good, too. There's another yeah. organization that does a lot of good work. Yep. But you guys really do a lot of good work. So. Well, we appreciate, we appreciate that. It. And, Thanks for uh, we've time. got a couple ladies coming up that uh, both do great work. When they imagine they're both involved in your organization too. Uh, one is for sure. One, one is for sure. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll be right back with our next guest in just a second. Joining us now is a friend from Port Huron by the name of Tracy Willard. Has Hello. a wonderful establishment, two establishments, yeah. called Hunter House. Welcome back. Thanks for having nice me. Nice to see you. Uh, you started a little organization called Hunter House five, six years ago? Yep, 2011. 2011. Yep. And for those that might not know, and those are only two people left in the county, <laughs> what is Hunter House? So Hunter House provides free lodging next door to both hospitals in Port Huron. 
and abundant amenities mm -hmm. for anybody who has a hospitalized loved one or if they're going through their own outpatient treatment or even the night before a surgery mm. they can stay with us and do you geographically have to be from up in San Lac County or you don't our belief is that we're providing rest for the weary and heavy-hearted. I like that. And you can be tired and exhausted and unable to drive whether you live in Port Huron or Port Sanilac. Or uh, full of apprehension because you're going to have something done tomorrow. Absolutely. Or perhaps you have a loved one passing away and mm -hmm. you want to be a moment away from the hospital but you really need to shower. Mm -hmm. So we can help you with that too. Wow. It started because? Because in 1991, my husband and I had our second of four sons, and his name was Hunter. And Hunter was born prematurely, and he was in the hospital longer than I was. Mm. So when I was released, I had that experience of being tired mm -hmm. and emotional and wanting to go back and forth to the hospital. There wasn't a place for me to stay there in the hospital, um, but, you know, I had to feed the baby during the night. Right. So, Marvelous. yeah, so when Hunter ended up passing away at 16 days of age, we remembered that feeling, that emotional exhaustion, mm -hmm. and always said, if there were a house next to the hospital, we'd love to help with that. Great idea. And that was the starting of it. That was the start. You are here today to, to talk to us about a couple things, but you also brought along a little uh, trailer of a yeah. movie. Let's see if uh, uh, Angelica can run that. Okay. And then we'll come back and talk more. Okay. I'm gonna be kind of around and filming if that's okay, okay with you guys. <laughs> uh, Hunter House is a respite for people who have family, loved ones in the hospital. To pray, to sleep, to eat, to shower, and then to get back to their reality. It's just people are able to stay who would not be able to have cancer treatments at the other place. Thank you. We have fundraising that has to be done and... So many people are making this happen. that this is what was happening to our family. For a full-length movie, yes. an hour movie, which was premiered back in uh, last fall, uh, are, is the movie still available? We have it available on DVDs for a suggested donation of $10. Okay. It was made by a young man named Travis Boone, and he lives in Chicago, and he's following his dreams of being a filmmaker. And he did a very nice job on the trailer. Thank you. He did a great job on the documentary. It's 55 minutes long, and it's just a great view of what Hunter House is like for the guests, for the volunteers, and for those who donate. Great. Well, maybe we'll have to run it here someday. All right. Well, you're here to talk to us about something else. A, a mutual friend of ours, uh, Riley Alley, yeah. is involved with you on what? Uh, so we are part of a committee uh, that puts together the St. Clair County Community Baby Shower, okay. which is an amazing event um, each year in St. Clair County. And it's coming up. I think you have got the date. Uh, um, I on I think I a can. postcard, yeah. Oh yes, right, the postcard. <laughs> yeah. I think I left it in the other room. Okay. But we'll get it. All right. We'll put it up on the screen. Yeah, so that's coming up and uh, it's got uh, sessions for the moms, um, car seat safety, home and fire safety, safe sleep. Um, oh, there it is right here. There we go, the baby shower. Thank March you. 15th. They, they covered us. I was gonna say it, but I was afraid I was wrong. So it's March 15th. And um, St. Clair, oh, this is a different one. This is Parent University. Okay, that's uh, another one that Riley's got. Going. Right, right, but we were talking about the community we're baby shower. We are just talking shower. about this one yep. today, okay. Yep, and it, you can um, register by going to greatstartstclair.org, click on the community events, or you can call them. And it's gonna be held at Woodland? 
It is, yeah. Okay. And there's um, sessions where you learn everything from mindfulness to breastfeeding. Um, Dr. Topolewski is going to talk about infant sight, and somebody else is going to talk about infant massage, and there's 40 vendors from different organizations, and there's giveaways and um, goodie items and sleep sacks and baby blankets, all sorts of things. Little, great, great things. Stuff. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So uh, how do uh, people get involved? So they should um, visit the website and register or give them a call at 810-455-4443. Um, they okay. have to register by March 13th. Okay. And is there admission charge? It's no. It's, no, it's free, free for them. Free yep. for them. Great. It's free for the mom and a support person. Okay. And what else is happening at Hunter? So we just got a transport vehicle. We're so excited. Oh, my God. Yeah. So we're leasing a car um, to help people get from Hunter House over to the hospitals. Um, we found that because um, more cancer patients stay with us than mm -hmm. ever before, since the hospitals have expanded their cancer care services and Carmanos opened right, as well. Carmanos, a huge expansion. So um, what would be normal for you and I to just walk across the street to the hospital might be a little more difficult for them. Mm -hmm. So now we have the transport car and we can drive them right over to the hospital for their treatment. Wow. So especially in the winter, yes. you know, sometimes in the spring it'd be nice to walk across if you had mm -hmm. and be good at exercise. But, right. But um, not that so the, the vehicle transport vehicle can go back and forth between both houses yes yep we can drive over to whichever house we need it to be at and um yeah we're very excited about that and we'll be able to use it to pick up donations that yeah. people have for us or whatever too right. well keep us in the loop Thank you're going to you. come and speak to st Clair rotary i know soon yeah and uh we, and we have a fundraiser coming up yep that was another thing that april 29th they can register on our website contact us and uh HunterHospitalityHouse.com. And that's going to be held at the convention center. It is, yep. That's yep. an annual affair. It, and it's a big deal. Last year we had um, 586 tickets really? sold. Yes. Wow. Yeah, so we're aiming for 700 this yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah, so make sure you come. Okay, <laughs> very good. Um, and the, the, again, the, that information is on, on your website. On our which website, is, which is HunterHospitalityHouse.com. Okay. And uh, tickets are the, for that are? Tickets are $40 yeah, that's or, you know, it's pretty reasonable for a night out. Yeah. To support a charity. You get dinner and you're supporting and a, a charity. And a nice view of the Blue Water Bridge. Absolutely. Yep. There's raffles, music, 50-50 drawing. We're even going to offer cupcakes to go. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> yeah. That's different. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so tell me about the cupcakes to go. Some Somebody's making so, the yeah. cupcakes. Yeah, Nadine Weaver has a um, business called Piece of Cake. Okay. Piece yeah, of okay. Cake. And um, she makes incredible cupcakes, and she'll be selling those as a fundraiser for Hunter House. As you're leaving, you can buy a package of cupcakes. Oh, my God, I like that. Yeah. 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 So you, uh, you, you get some, like a dessert to go. Exactly, yeah. I love it. Okay. Yeah, it's something new. Tracy Willard, always a great pleasure. Hunter Thank House you. is such a wonderful organization. We're so Thank fortunate you. to have you and your, your husband and your family. And you said the, the video, your mom, uh, involved in our communities. But so it's, uh, we salute you for all that work. Thanks so much. Uh, next guest is uh, uh, coming up, and we'll be right back. We're back with a friend, another friend, Jennifer Hi. McDonald. Welcome back to Focus Set. Nice to see you. Great to Always see you. Always a pleasure. Oh, yeah. I know what I want to say about you. You got to get the big notice oh. right here. <laughs> National Association of Career Women announces Career Woman of the Year. Congratulations. Thank you. National Association of Career Women of Port Huron. And that's quite an honor, and you deserve it. You are a great person. Thank you. I have a great team of volunteers behind me. And that's what you need. You can't mm -hmm. you can win an award, but you certainly need. Oh my goodness, they made it possible. <laughs> and the organization that are where they are working is Blue Water Pregnancy Care Center. And that's been around for how many years now? Thirty years. Thirty years. Thirty years. Okay, we, long before you were at Armbr the old Armbrusters. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And so, what do you do? Well, I turned my phone off. <laughs> 
So the Blue Water Pregnancy Care Center specializes in pregnancy confirmation through ultrasound and pregnancy options. So, but there's a whole host of other things we do because women do deserve to be loved and supported during their pregnancy, um, expected, planned, unplanned. And right. so we want to help the young moms, the young dads, and we help them for about 30 months. Really? So, that long? Through the pregnancy and then uh, until the baby's 24 months old. What a great, beautiful so. time for some people. Other mm -hmm. times, it's, a, it's other people, it's a real huge struggle and a fight. It, it can be uh, very unsettling yeah. and um, a very challenging time for them. And we, we want to walk with them through that also. So we talk about all of their pregnancy options and really give them time to kind of process such a major decision in their life. It's the biggest one they'll ever face. That's and, right. And nobody's ever, ever prepared to have a baby. No. So you think you're ready? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, is there any charge that you people charge? Everything's free and free. confidential. And mm -hmm. confidential. Wow, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So we're supported completely through donation. We don't get any kind of government funding. And so um, we have a number of fundraisers that come up throughout the year. One of them's coming up, our banquet. And what is the banquet? When is the banquet? It is the second Thursday of March, the Thursday, March 9th at Solitude Links okay. Golf Course, which used to be Four Lakes. Right. And so there's... Gorgeous view there. Beautiful, beautiful facility. We have an uh, awesome program lined up with some great client testimonies, their stories, um, their challenges, how they overcame that, what we did, and... Um, so bring a box of Kleenex. <clears throat> uh, yes, and <laughs> we'll, we'll laugh too, so, yeah. You gotta have a little of both. Oh yeah, a little of both. and good food. Red good food. Uh, now, is there an admission charge for this? We don't charge, but we do tell the people that attend that it's a fundraiser. Bring their check books, yeah, yeah. Um, and and be prepared to make a, a nice donation. Okay. So, how many uh, young uh, people did you help in the last year or so? Uh, we helped over thirteen hundred moms, babies, and dads. So, wow, that's oh, wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, about 700 women, 160 men, over 500 babies. Mm. Fantastic. So, and mm -hmm. the uh, banquet uh, again is on March the 9th. Mm -hmm. uh, have we missed anything? Mm -hmm. Well, actually, you were talking about my recognition as Woman of the Year for National Association of Career Women, but the Blue Water Pregnancy Care Center actually has had uh, some other awards given out to us last year. Well, let's hear about it. <clears throat> One is the Beacon of Light that was okay. given to us through the Community Action Agency, and it is given in recognition of outstanding service to the community and um, needy individuals. <coughs> And then we also received special recognition from the state of Michigan, signed by our representatives and our senator, and uh, Phil Pavlo, and the governor. And then we also received uh, congressional recognition from our U.S. congressperson, Congress, Congresswoman right. Candace Miller. Candace Miller, right. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and that's, that's <laughs> wonderful that you're getting all those, that, mm -hmm. that, that other people are recognizing what you're doing and, and saying, hey, that's pretty good. Well, it just helps so that people know about us and can come and come to us for help. So we and, want to help as many as possible. And you are a beautiful location <laughs> on uh, Griswold mm -hmm. Street in the yep. middle of uh, Fort Huron. Yeah. And uh, easy access. So. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, been five years almost. We've been God. there. So I think we'll be there for a while. Yeah, I think you're going to be there for mm -hmm. a while. Uh, are you 24 hours, <clears throat> seven days a week? Can we do the phone numbers? No. Um, we do have um, an emergency line, uh, which I do not have memorized. That's okay, but, but people can look <clears throat> it up on the web. Mm -hmm. And so if they have questions, I guess was my mm -hmm. point, mm -hmm. uh, you are available pretty much Yes, all the time. we actually, our clients text us oh, really? 24 hours a day. Yeah. So seven days a week, and myself and my nurse manager, we answer those. So they're really designed for emergency, so. So uh, the, the basics of, of pregnancy are the things that you are experts in, mm -hmm. and, you're, and you're helping people who don't know anything about it. Right. Well, the cool thing it. about the Pregnancy Center is we, we fill a niche that nobody else fills. The doctors simply do not have time to 
you know, hold somebody's hand, listen to them, talk to them, and mm -hmm. answer all their mm -hmm. questions mm -hmm. that are not just medical in nature, but also emotional, social, mm -hmm. uh, dealing with their families, helping them to tell their parents that they're pregnant if they're um, under 18, or mm -hmm. maybe it's a, even a 22-year-old that doesn't want to tell her parents mm -hmm. that she's pregnant. She doesn't want to let them down. Mm -hmm. And so we also really specialize in what all of the pregnancy options are, the pros and cons of each, and even though we talk about, say, adoption as one of those possibilities, um, adoption agencies don't necessarily know about the other uh, pregnancy options. So mm -hmm. we really help get them through all of those. Okay. And certainly uh, a lot of conversation in the last election about uh, mm -hmm. the whole subject of uh, pregnancy and abortion, et cetera, mm -hmm. et cetera. So mm -hmm. probably be more discussion during the first year or two of this of this uh, probably we really want to be known as a non-judgmental place where people right. can just sit down and talk without being condemned or judged in any way and and get good accurate information okay. and we're there really is for as long as they need us and take as much time as they need okay people have questions uh, just look it up on bluewaterbabies.org mm -hmm. is the uh, easy uh, mm -hmm. email address yep. our uh, web, website web page bluewaterbabies.org and you can get a hold of Jennifer McDonald. Very good. Always a pleasure. Thank you, Paul. That's about it for uh, this edition of the uh, Focus Program. Thanks very much for uh, tuning in. Till uh, next time, I'm Paul Dingaman. See you soon. Thanks for watching Focus with Paul Dingaman. Focus is produced at the CTV Community Television Studios in St. Clair. For over 20 years, CTV has captured the moments that matter to our community.